The need for Christians to soberly reflect on their lifestyle on earth was the fulcrum of the message during the funeral mass in honor of the late Professor Linus Wachuku Ajabo, which held in Umunede in Ikanath East local government area. Eunice Meazia reports that the deceased was buried today, which was his birthday. September 23, the day the late Professor Linus Wachuku Ajabo of Umuneide was buried, was the same day he would have turned 91, but he died a few weeks before his birthday. The officiating priest led the congregation to sing a happy birthday song, wishing him a happy arrival in heaven. <laughs> In a homily during the funeral mass, Reverend Father Emmanuel Wankwa said life and death is a mystery, but both were two sides of the coin, adding that Christians do not die but only transit to another level of existence. Reverend Father Wankwa said Christ is the center of every existence, adding that life will remain meaningful to those who added value to the society while remaining a walking shadow to others. He described the deceased as a detribalized, generous and hard-working man worthy of emulation, urging the congregation to see the funeral ceremony as an opportunity to reflect soberly on the mystery of life and the legacies they would like to be remembered for after exiting the earth. Our father was and is a colossus in terms of living practical presentation. When they pray to your father in you, it means that your father is still alive, isn't it? But when they don't pray to your father in you, it means that the memory is fading away. All the wonderful things that he wrote about him in his uh, biography, pick some of them and uphold them. Your children will pick your own and uphold you. The service featured Bible readings, special thanksgiving, as well as other activities for the repose of the soul of the late Professor Ajabo in line with the Catholic doctrine. <laughs> His remains was later taken to the family house at Omonede for interment. <laughs> at a reception held at the Obe Model Primary School field Omonede, family members, friends and well-wishers described the deceased as a great obstetrician and gynecologist who impacted many lives saying he was humble, honest, transparent, bridge builder with a high level of integrity and devotion to duty. My father is a great man. Please join me in celebrating my father because he said, Jinedu, when you are burying me, make sure you attend to all my guests. Kind, sweet, in fact, we will miss him dearly. We will miss him so much. I see that he mentored a lot of people, a lot of students. Apart from that, his contribution to the development of this community. He has contributed enormously to the development of the community. And uh, we, that are indigenous of this community, we are very happy with him. And uh, he's a son that we ever remember for his good deeds. He has been a father to the palace, to the kingdom entirely. We, can't, we don't have anything to quantify him. It's more than what people see about him. We missed him a lot. He was my backbone, my mentor, my father, my encourager. So he was an icon. Teacher of teachers, professor of professors. That is prof for you. People look up to him. So we're very proud of his achievement while he was living. Lots of memories with him because we were very close and most of my events he was there and most of his events I was there. He lived a very great life and left a great legacy behind and we wish him God's eternal blessings as he rests in peace. 
It featured dances by children of the late Professor Ajabo, as well as music and dance performances from various individuals and groups from within and outside the state. Fondly called the Oracle of Urebeni, the late Professor Linus Mwachuku Ajabo retired as the Chief Medical Director and Consultant Obstetrician and Gynecologist at the Anita Summit Hospital and Center for Reproductive Medicine and Infertility Benin City, Edo State. He is survived by his wife and four children. Eunice Emeazia reporting.